Um, I believe that my experience, my judicial experience, my legal experience, my personal experience makes me the most qualified candidate for the position of surrogates court judge in Orange County. Um, I began my legal career in 1973 as a law secretary to Supreme Court Justice Edward M. O'Gorman. Um, he was an excellent jurist. I was honored to work with him. Um, we worked side by side doing legal research. And I, I had the benefit of being exposed to hundreds of cases, hundreds of legal issues, and the research uh, for those first three years of my practice, much more than I would have gotten you know, hanging my shingle out and, and doing it. From 1990 to 1994, I was the county attorney in Orange County. Um, I supervised roughly 15 staff attorneys. Um, I met with them basically on a weekly basis, you know, meeting with them, reviewing the work that they were doing, the kind of cases that they were handling. Certainly they were doing the legal work. I was, you know, overseeing it. But there were issues such as landfill and uh, not using the landfill that had been made, wetlands litigation, many environmental issues, um, a great deal of municipal law disputes as to uh, who had the power, the county legislature or the county executive, uh, to run county government, um, representing the Department of Social Services and issues of um, Medicaid, Medicare, nursing home regulations, um, prosecutions in family court of uh, juveniles, uh, abuse and neglect proceedings, um, those types of things. Uh, we were involved in all the condemnation proceedings for um, the Route 6 flyover in Woodbury, uh, going you know through there when they put you know went over Route 6. Again, uh, exposure to hundreds of different different issues and areas. Um, I've been was in private practice from '76 to 1990, and then from 1994 to when I took the bench in, in surrogates court. Um, I had a very active surrogates court practice. Uh, probating wills, administration proceedings, uh, the guardianship um, issues, contested will proceedings. Um, um, you know, my office, uh, the same as Judge Onifrey's, um, is a long-standing office in uh, my community. Uh, I know that the Cutterback firm in Port Jervis had been there for many generations. Uh, there was a man who ran the office in my you know, building that I own named Halstead during the 30s and 40s. Um, his practice was taken over by a man named Scheidel, who was there until you know, John Cameron and I purchased the building in 1980. Um, with these long-term you know, firms and such, you, you end up having you know, a, a substantial you know, surrogate square practice. And that was a great deal of what I did. The rest of my practice, though, I think was you know, varied and, and quite diverse. Um, there was a man I met when I first started practicing named Gus Bennett, who was an attorney in Newburgh. He'd served in Congress at one point. And the thing that he said to me, which I always stuck with me, is that you go to law school and you pay your tuition, but that didn't cover the cost of your education. They're public endowments and the public has participated. So the public owns part of your degree you should give back to your community. Um, that was one of the reasons that I was always on the assigned counsel list doing legal work for the less fortunate, uh, family court, criminal matters, parole proceedings. Um, I think I have a great diversity in, in my, you know, the list of clients that I, that I have. I believe I have the judicial temperament. Um, I have strong feelings that the public must be treated with the proper respect that things are to be handled timely, filings in the court are to be handled expeditiously. We've made some changes in our procedures at Circus Court to make it more user-friendly and to handle things in a uh, what I feel is a much better way for the public and, and for the, the practitioners before there. Um, I think my community activities also adds to um, my credentials. I served on the Monroe Woodbury School Board. I was on the OCK Board of Trustees um, for a nine-year term, and then I, you know, they didn't appoint my replacement, so I stayed another two and a half years after my 
term ran out, and then finally someone was there sitting in my seat when I came in one day. For the totality that I've given you, I feel that I'm qualified to be in this circuit. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Thank you.